question. But what I, I really enjoyed was, was this quote, um, I was not giving up, not this time, not next time, not ever. That's an important attitude when you're climbing mountains like Everest and, and K2. But of course, it has to be tempered with a survival instinct. And you've shown this, you've, you've had to back off and come back to the mountain again as you did on K2. Um, tell us a bit more about that. Sure. It's, um, it was interesting for me to learn this sort of difference about failure because, you know, failure is probably something I saw initially as, okay, you do something and if you don't make it, you fail, right? That's how, that's how, uh, you know, uh, Vanessa O'Brien 1.0 probably would have looked at it. And then the more I was out there and the, and the more I was learning through this process, the more and the more the earth was changing even with El Nino and all of these, you know, kind of uh, things that were happening and how they were related or not related to mountains, I started realizing that, wait a minute, you know, failure is not only necessary, but it's, it's actually just a, a data point that we acquire to give us information yeah. and that you don't ever really fail unless you give up. So you're, you're never out of the game, so to speak, until you pull the plug and say, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I, I often think of mountaineering as substantially being a retrospective pleasure because yes. the, the actuality of many parts of it, I mean, they, they obviously there are great moments, but there are times where you are going, what am I doing here? Or I'm really scared and concerned about what's what's going to, um, going to happen, happen next. Um, but what do you think are the, the key factors for being successful on a big mountain? Um, you have to be prepared, you have to train, you have to, you know, you have to have, you have to be there mentally and, uh, you know, emotionally, spiritually, uh, you have to be up for that. Uh, you have to focus on what you can control and not control and know the difference. Uh, you have to want it. You have to remember what's there because when everything else goes wrong, you have to remember what's going to make that leg lift of yours when all else uh, fails. I am open to absolutely everything. It's, it's, I feel like the book has just, the ink's not even dry. Uh, I'm talking about it. I'm really excited about it. I'm proud of it. Um, but I never expected Challenger Deep to happen. If I say I'll never go to space, next thing I know I'll be in space. Um, but they all add up to parts of Gaia and this planet that we're on and how it all tells the story. And uh, if I can advocate for anything or help uh, tell any part of the story of the planet, I would be more than happy to do that. 